Well, I apologize for the feedback you're hearing. I know it's, it, uh, you, you don't hear it up here as much, I guess, but uh, it's a, a pleasure to be here. Kari, thanks for the uh, introduction. Uh, I want to thank Free Press, too, uh, before we go any further, for all their hard work and helping to put the event together uh, today, especially uh, Libby Reinish and Candace Clement and Josh Stearns for all of their help. Uh, they worked through rain and sunshine to get us all here. Uh, Matt Wood, a fellow Pittsburgher and Steeler fan for moderating uh, today's event, thank you very much. And, and also to our good friends here at Carnegie Mellon, uh, who always make a venue available to us whenever we want to have these community meetings. Uh, Carnegie Mellon, thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored tonight to speak alongside my good friend, FCC Commissioner Michael Copps. Uh, one of the best FCC commissioners I've had the privilege of working with during my tenure in the United States Congress. Uh, Commissioner Copps, welcome to Pittsburgh. It's good to have you back here in our region. Uh, I've said this before uh, many times publicly, and I'll say it again. Uh, if I were the benevolent dictator of the universe, as scary as that thought might be, uh, your term would have no expiration date, sir. Uh, I want to... <clears throat> I want to thank you for your dedication and hard work at the Commission. Uh, I want to thank you for never losing sight of what is best for the public interest and for everyday Americans. Uh, your leadership and your voice at the FCC uh, will be missed at the end of your term. Uh, I know that uh, your voice will not be silent, however, uh, and that you're going to continue to work on behalf of, of uh, the public interest. So thank you very much. Uh, I want to welcome the rest of our distinguished speakers here today. Uh, this is a really knowledgeable group, and I'm looking forward to the discussion about media ownership and the local media here in Pittsburgh and across the country. You know, Pittsburgh has a unique media environment. We were home to the first commercial broadcast station in the world, KDKAM. We have three public radio stations, and as you know, uh, we have some pretty big names that call Pittsburgh their home in the music industry. Uh, we've got Girl Talk, we've got Wiz Khalifa, we've got Rusted Root, and even uh, Christine Aguilera is from Pittsburgh. Uh, we also have an amazing and vibrant underground musician community. And with the help of Congress and the FCC, I hope we're gonna see a lot more space on the dial for new local radio stations here in Pittsburgh and nationwide. Last winter, Congress enacted and the President signed the Local Community Radio Act, a piece of legislation that I introduced along with my friend Congressman Lee Terry and um, we had a companion bill in the Senate, Senator Cantwell and Senator McCain introduced. Uh, that bill is now law, and the FCC is now charged with implementing that law to bring hundreds of new community radio stations on the air. I think this law is gonna change how people think about radio. Finally, anyone with passion and drive will be able to apply for a license to build and run a radio station. Here in our hometown, people can try their hands as DJs, talk show hosts, news reporters, or radio station managers, creating program for Pittsburgh, about Pittsburgh, and by Pittsburghers. We also have a diverse ethnic community here in our city, and I'd like to see more people of color and women running community stations, producing local news, and playing local music. And I can't wait to hear more of our local musical talent on the air, played by DJs who know and appreciate our local culture. It's a really big deal. Running a radio station isn't just for the big guys anymore. Think about it, in the 50 major media markets, there's only one low power FM station in the 50 major markets, Pittsburgh's 22nd. This is an opportunity for our region along with others, uh, especially in the urban areas, to give a local voice, a community voice, uh, and, and bring it on the air. But you know, to make sure this happens, we need lots of new community radio stations on the air. Uh, we have to make sure that the implementation at FCC goes the way we need it to go to make sure that we maximize the number of local stations on the air. And earlier this month, I joined 27 of my colleagues in the House of Representatives, Republicans and Democrats alike, to urge the FCC to open up as much space on the dial as possible for new low power FM stations, especially in urban areas that have been waiting for them for years. With the help of the hardworking staff and volunteers of the Prometheus Radio Project, Pittsburgh organizations and individuals did the same. I want to thank Tube City Community Media, the Pittsburgh Community Television, uh, and many others here in the community for voicing your support for community radio to the FCC. 
thanks also to the large bipartisan coalition that worked so hard to get this bill passed. Thanks to Prometheus, Free Press, the United Church of Christ, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, the Future of Music Coalition, Media Access Project, and so many other supporters for continuing to keep the pressure on and supporting local radio. You know, I grew up here in Pittsburgh, and one of the stations I liked to listen to all the time was Whammo. And back when I was younger, Whammo was considered one of the city's most important outlets for the African American community. From its origins in the 1940s, the station launched the careers of famous black radio personalities. Many of you also probably remember its role uh, and its prominent and central role in the civil rights movement. But radio has changed a lot since those years. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to find that kind of locally run programming on the dial, and a number of radio stations have lost their minority ownership. Community radio is one way we can change that. Imagine having a radio station in town that can play any song, regardless of the ratings, from Earth, Wind, and Fire to the song your neighbor just recorded next door, or a station that airs shows produced by the local Irish community one hour and the local Italian community the next hour. I, I say that because I'm half Irish and half Italian, and I get to appear on both those shows. But, <laughs> But seriously, I mean, it's almost unimaginable, right? I mean, but that's what community radio is all about. And it's hard to overstate the importance of locally produced news and entertainment. It's almost like, unless we've experienced it, we don't even know what we're missing. So after tonight, if you get the crazy idea that you might want to start a radio station, our host can help you get in touch with the Prometheus Radio Project to learn more. I want to thank all of you for coming. Uh, I think you're going to find the uh, forum interesting. We look forward to hearing from you and listening to some of uh, your questions and having a dialogue after our speakers. Uh, it's now my pleasure to bring up to the stage uh, CMU professor John Piha, who just recently finished up his service at the White House. He was on leave. Uh, before that, he was the chief technology officer at the FCC. In other words, this is like a really smart guy. And uh, we look forward to what John has to say to us tonight. Thank you.